All right, we have a used car dealer that says the mean price of a three-year-old sport utility vehicle is equals 22000 um, and you want to, you think that this is incorrect. It doesn't say anything about greater or less than, so we just want to see is there a difference. All right, find the critical values. Notice it's telling you it, it's a T. How do you know it's a T? Because you do not know the population standard deviation. You have a sample standard deviation. So what you have to do is find your t-table. Where is your t-table? And find alpha 0 0.10. And we are, and because this is in two tails, since it's a two tail test. How do I know it's a two tail test? Because the alternative was not equal. Uh, my degrees of freedom is 25 minus 1, which is 24. So if I can stay on the same line, it looks like 1.711. Since it's a two-tail test, I would be the negative. And I would be the positive. All right, so how do we know if we reject? Well, we would reject if we're to the left of negative 1.711, and or we would reject if we're to the right, so greater than 1.711. All right, now we want to find the test statistic. You use the same formula where you take the sample mean minus the um, what the no mean is divided by, but then you would take the sample standard deviation, okay, so the S, 1901, divided by the square root of N, which is 25, but I'm going to be lazy and use stat crunch. So stat crunch, I'm going to go to stat T, one sample, I don't see any data, I just have summary. So my sample mean is 22,654. My sample standard deviation, 1901. My sample size, 25. My hypothesis, 22,000. And make sure it's set to not equal, which it is. So I compute this, and I get my test statistic of 1.72. Two decimal places, yeah, OK. And now it asks me what to do. Well, if I check the, the test statistic with the critical values, does this fall in the rejection region? Man, just barely, right? Just barely, barely, barely. Let me go, let me go back real quick to StatCrunch and notice the p-value here. So even if we check the p-value with alpha, it's just a little bit, but, but it's below. So I definitely am going to reject the null because my test statistic is barely 1.72 is greater than 1.711, but it is definitely in the